what is going on guys and welcome back to another video now in this video we are going to be talking about promoting max bounty offers using facebook ads now i know i've made a couple of videos about it and there are some videos but this is a brand new method and this is a very very unique method i would even call it an advanced method okay and so using this method you'll be able to promote uh, pretty much any or at least most of max bounty offers using facebook ads and it's white hat it's completely legit it's completely real it works and so watch this video if you want to take advantage of this amazing amazing facebook traffic in order to promote the right offers all right so the first thing i want to show you is the diagram right how do you promote face a uh, max bounty offers using facebook ads so we have the visitor we have Facebook, we have a Facebook ad that gets displayed. Now the question is, where do we link this uh, Facebook ad? Do we direct link it to the offer? No, we do not direct link it because Facebook is just gonna ban your account. This might've worked before, but it does not work anymore. You cannot direct link anymore. And so you have kind of two options. You can build a website or you can build a landing page. And what I'm gonna tell you today is neither one right you do not need a website you do not need a landing page it's going to be another method it's even a better method that i've designed i haven't seen this on the internet so pay close attention if you want to do it correctly okay and so later on there's a cpa link they go to the network and if they buy something something happens they get a commission now before we continue further let's talk about what kind of offers you can promote okay this is very very important and so when you are in max bounty right you have a lot of offers and so what you want to do is you want to click on my approved offer so that you see the offers that you already approved for and that way you don't need to do an extra step you don't need to you know pick an offer that you need to be approved for you're basically looking at all the offers you already approved for and so we have my approved offers and you have various categories now when you're starting out I do not recommend going for offers that are like surveys, sweepstakes, zip submits, email submits. I do not recommend those offers because while there are some advanced tactics of promoting those offers on Facebook, it's very, very tricky. And so I do not recommend this method. What we're going to be promoting today, and you can promote you know, all kinds of different offers, but what I really want to promote is the so-called lead gen offers, right? And basically lead gen offers, and what is a lead gen offer? And lead gen offer is basically an offer that pays you a bounty whenever somebody submits their email information or some kind of contact information. And typically these are real businesses. These are legit, honest businesses. They just, you know, they also pay you if the person actually signs up for the service, but they also pay you if they just, you know, submit their information, right? and you're gonna find these offers all over the place a good sign for that offer is the cpa rate is gonna be less than five dollars typically it's gonna be less than five dollars because you're just giving a lead they're not purchasing anything if they purchase something it's gonna be higher right so for this example it's gonna be less than five dollars it might also be from five to ten dollars so less than ten dollars if they need to submit something like a credit card right but typically it's going to be less than uh less than five maybe maybe five six dollars but in this example it's going to be less than five dollars and so we are browsing the next thing you want to think about is the categories right you can do e-commerce e-commerce is going to be higher up it's not going to be lead gen you can do dating but dating is very tricky i do not recommend doing dating on facebook because facebook doesn't like dating uh, what I would recommend is educational offers, right? Educational is great. There's a couple of other categories. Some are health, some are uh, financial could work, but education is really good. So we're going to go into education and we're going to look at a bunch of offers. And I actually have an offer uh, that I prepared and it's actually in a different category. So we're going to select this and we're going to type treehouse, okay? And this is an offer for a service for an online tutorial site where you can basically sign up and learn how to code. And this is a big, big market right now. Skillshare is another one. LinkedIn uh, LinkedIn Learning is another one. There is also a bunch of other offers. I think there are around 10 offers that I found on Max Bounty that you can promote. So Skillshare, LinkedIn Learning, there is also a couple of other ones. But Treehouse is a great offer, right? So we're going to open this offer and we're going to take a closer look 
And in this example, they're basically giving you commissions for all kinds of tiers, right? They're giving you 240 per lead for a free trial sign up. They're giving you 40% of the sale for paid subscription. They're giving you 80% for paid. They're giving you a lot of things, right? And this is a legit, a real nice site, right? And you can promote it using social. You can do contextual. You can do display native mobile ads. We're going to be using social for this example. And so learn to code, gain a new skill, get a new job, whatever you go, we'll get you there. Try the Treehouse seven day free trial now converts on a free trial sign up. This is actually even a free trial sign up. And that is why they're only giving you 240 per lead. If this was like a credit card submit or a paid trial, you may be like a $1, $1 trial as it's very, very common. They probably would have given you something more, but 240 is fine for a free trial, right? And so what we're going to do is we're going to build a tracking link. We're going to do social. We're going to do a role link. And now we have a link. Now, the next thing that we want to do is we're not going to be direct linking. We're actually going to create a piece of content that we're going to use to promote this article. And it's very, very unique. Now, you can go out and create a landing page, buy software, create a website. It's a lot of work. I'm going to show you a free method. And we're going to use a site called Medium, right? Now, Medium is a great site. It's a huge site. It gets millions of visitor, visitors per month, per year, per day, et cetera, et cetera. And Facebook knows about the site, right? So Facebook is not going to be suspicious when you use a site like Medium. Now, how do we actually create a piece of content? There's a lot of ways of doing it. But one of the best ways of doing it is by creating something called the review content. So if you Google for Treehouse Review, you actually see a Treehouse Review article from PC Mag, which is PC Magazine, a very, very respectable and trusted and credible site, right? And so there's a lot of sites that, that have done reviews. There's switchup.org, there's BitDegree, which I believe sounds like it's a site that reviews all kinds of these online uh, universities, uh, learning centers, things like that. There's g2.com learn to code with me, right? So there's a lot of sites that do this. So this is a legit, completely legit method. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to actually click on this and we're going to actually create a story, right? So if you click on this, you can press new story. And I actually started drafting this for you, right? So I actually did the work of, of forming the outline for this article, right? So the title is going to be Treehouse Review, Real Developer Reviews Online Coding Site. And, and I basically... And so I basically, you know, gave you these sections of the review and you're free uh, to copy what I did and to kind of fill it out, right? These, these uh, subheadings, or you can go out and create your own kind of review. But, you know, this is kind of what you want to do. And when you're creating this review article, right, you want to make it quality, right? So let's say I go back to Google and I basically opened uh, from PC Magazine, which, which is a respected, respected site. And we go over now look how how legit it is right they have the pros they have the cons they have the bottom line uh look look how look how um deep it is right look how comprehensive it is right if i scroll down it's pretty legit right it's pretty legit i would guess it's around maybe 2000 words 1500 words and in my opinion that's kind of what you should shoot for at least 1500 words and this is a legit legit article right it's not like hey, join the site. It's not a direct affiliate link or anything like that. And so what you need to do is you need to basically copy this outline that I did for you, right? We have the introduction. We have the basic, what is Treehouse? Who is Treehouse for? When was Treehouse created? What do you get when you join Treehouse? How much does Treehouse cost? What are the cons of Treehouse? Uh, you can even do something like, what are the pros and cons? And you can even make it, you, you can leave it here. You can move it up. It's really up to you. What are some alternatives to Treehouse, right? You can compare it with some alternatives. And then final thoughts, right? This is where you wrap up the entire review. You're basically saying the pros and the cons. And you basically uh, talk about everything, right? And this is a well-balanced review, right? You're not just pushing your affiliate links all over the place. But you're, you know, you're being honest. You're being, okay, so, you know, like, like uh, PC Mac, what are they saying? They're saying that... The pros are this, the cons are monthly fees can add up, free trial requires a credit card. Okay, so this is, you know, this is kind of the thing. Now, they might be talking about another offer. You have to basically click on the Max Bounty link and follow the offer because maybe our offer is 
without a credit card. Or maybe it's a free trial, but they need to enter their credit card, which is called a CC submit offer, credit card submit offer. We do not know. They might be reviewing another offer. Remember, this article is from 2017. So it's several years old. Maybe this was another offer, but maybe it's the same offer. And so you kind of have to go out there and you kind of have to see what it's all about. Now, if you do this kind of article, right, and you can do it on Medium, and we're going to be actually advertising this on Facebook, and I'm going to go into my Facebook ads manager, and we're going to do it step by step, and I'm going to show you how to do it correctly. And if you follow the steps that I'm teaching you here, you're not going to have any problems with Facebook at all, right? I mean, it's a legit way we're following the steps. We're not direct linking. We're not making crazy claims. And we're not promoting uh, niches that Facebook doesn't like, such as online dating or something else. We're being very, very legit. And so right now I'm going to go into Facebook and we're going to do the entire campaign together. And I'm going to show you how to do it correctly. All right. So I'm here in my Facebook ads manager, which you should have if you have a Facebook account. This is my ads manager. I recommend creating a business uh, manager and you can have up to two business managers per fa Facebook account. You can just Google. I think it's like an extra step. I don't remember. I've done it a long time ago. And so you can go out. Once you have that, you're going to have a couple of ad accounts. And so we're going to do the entire flow right now so you can follow along. And that way you're not going to make any mistakes and you, you should not have any questions. And, not, and, you know, my objective is not to leave you hanging. My objective is to tell you the whole flow and you can apply it to any niche within limits. Facebook doesn't like certain niches such as uh, Bitcoin. It doesn't like uh, it doesn't like online dating. There's a couple of other kind of gray areas, but they're fine with like coding uh, coding sites and things like that. And so the first thing is we need to do, we need to click on create and I'm going to call this C1 as a campaign. I am going to leave everything in default. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to call this ADS one, add one. We're going to save the draft. And once we do that, Facebook is going to basically create a little uh, skeleton. We have the campaign, we have the ad set and we have the ad. And so the first thing we want to do is we want to add it the ad set. Okay. Once we do that, I will show you this very, very important. And the most important thing of the ad set is where we specify the budget. And it basically tells us the potential reach. We also have targeting demographics, things like that. And so we want to scroll down and we want to specify the daily budget. Now this particular offer only pays us 250, right? So we can, we can put $10 a day, right? We can put $5. In fact, why don't we just put $5 per day? Now we want to start the campaigns the next day at midnight. Okay. That's really the rule. You do not want to run this. Uh, you don't, you don't want to run this whenever you're, you're doing it. You want to do the next day at midnight always. And now we have the audiences. We're going to put United States here uh, because United States has the best traffic in my opinion. So we're going to select United States. Uh, next, we have the ages. Now, honestly, I do not know what, who is the, who's the right ages for this. You know, I don't, I, this particular offer, I don't, I do not know if it's going to be males that are going to be converting better females or equal 50, 50. And so we're going to leave this wide open, this, this section right here in terms of ages, I would say like my whole experience is targeting 25 plus. So I'm going to, I'm going to start at 25. And once I do that, we still have 200 million people. We have a very wide range, but that, that number is going to go down once we do detailed targeting. Okay. And so for detailed targeting, this is where you have to get a little creative. Now you can basically add, uh, you can start going into some like programming coding related terms. You can put their competitors. That's another way you can do all kinds of interesting things. So let's type treehouse and see if there's something like this. And we have interest treehouse and it's, it's a very low interest. So it's not going to be good enough. How about Udemy? Udemy interest, 25 million. That might work. Okay. That might work. And we have 1.9 million. And this is really good because I like my ad set potential reach to be anywhere from one to 10 million. Okay. Because anything above that, and it's just too much, anything below that, and you're going to run out of that, um, of the audience very, very quickly. So I'm going to leave Udemy just for this example. Uh, you can basically narrow Udemy with uh, coding or something like this. Let's see what happens. Coding bootcamp, uh, 1 million. Let's see if coding, uh, what do we get? We have, yeah, that's way too small. So we want to uh, delete this 
and we want to put our programming and see what happens here computer programming programming language how about computer programming okay and we have half a million yeah, you can kind of go with it but you know it's still kind of small uh let's see if there's another interest how about suggestions here coursera we have coursera skillshare code academy so i'm just gonna leave you to me i think it's a good enough interest I typically I wanna I wanna you know go on the more uh, bigger bigger and bigger end of the spectrum as opposed to smaller end because Facebook likes bigger audience uh, languages we're gonna just leave it on default we're gonna you know you can do manual placements if you want I'm just gonna keep it simple and use automatic placements okay the next thing we wanna do is the ad, is to edit the actual ad and this is the ad uh, basically the creative right how are you gonna how are you gonna promote it the image and things like that. And it's actually very, very easy to do. The first thing you want to do is you want to create a Facebook page. Now I have a bunch of pages for different, uh, different campaigns, different ideas. And so I have this page. Now I'm not going to go out and create a new page, but you, you basically, if you don't have any pages here, you're going to have an option to create a new page and you can do that. Now, what you want to call this page, you want to call it something closer to what you're promoting. So if you're promoting coding, or coding boot camps, then it should it should be something like coding is fun, or coding boot camps, something related to coding or programming or something like that. You don't want to have a very general uh, general name. So we're gonna keep scrolling. We're gonna create an ad, and right here it it tells us to add media. We're gonna basically click on add image, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into stock photos. Now Facebook is very generous uh, in a sense that they give you a lot of stock photography. And it's actually powered by Shutterstock. And as you can see, well, you can probably see it, but these images all have watermarks. But once the ad is actually displayed, it basically tells you that the watermark won't appear in the final ad image. So you should not worry about the actual watermark at all. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type something like programming and see what kind of images show up. They actually have really nice images. And let's see what kind of images just to get a, an idea. And this is really cool, right? So here's a guy, he's basically looking at the screen, he's coding, and here's another one, here's another one. And when I see a couple of images that I really like, what you wanna do is you wanna create multiple ads. But for, for the purpose of this tutorial, we're just gonna create one ad. I typically like to create three ads for every ad set, okay? Because an ad set is basically, you know, each ad it belongs to a specific ad set. So we're going to pick this one just for the purpose of this tutorial. We're going to click on continue and it's basically going to display it on different placements. Okay, we have 14 placements and Facebook is going to automatically determine what is a good placement or not. And so this is really cool. And what we want, and the next thing we want to fill out a couple of things, right? And the first one is the primary text. The primary text is a text that appears above the image. And this is kind of what people see initially. And so, you know, you just have to type something. It's a hook. It's a way to, to connect with the reader. And so an idea would be something like, you know, so here is a simple uh, copy text. Ever dreamed of coding for a living? Dream no further. Make it a reality. Or this is, this is an angle about coding for a living, right? Another angle could be something like, think coding is hard. For you know, don't think that way. Don't don't think about that any longer, right? Coding is actually easy. Something like this, right? It's very very simple. You just need a little bit of creativity, and that should be enough to get you going. Think that coding is hard. Read our treehouse review and decide for yourself. Read our online bootcamp review and decide for ourselves, right? For yourself. And then we have the headline. We have the description now. The headline and the description is going to be taken from the article. So once you finish this article, right, once you actually create this article, you're going to click on publish and you're going to be given a URL. And when you submit that URL to Facebook, it's basically going to take the title and the beginning of the introduction and it's basically going to fill it out here. So this is going to be the headline, which is going to be this one. Let me just show you um, as an example. So if I take this, uh, it's going to be here headline this is going to be here real developer reviews and then the description is going to be something else and then display your all is just going to be medium right and it's absolutely fine it's not some random affiliate link it's actually a real a real site you're just advertising you know 
a review, a review article to the site. And Facebook should be absolutely cool with it. And then you have the description, which is optional. You can write it. So if I start typing something, it's going to be below this, um, this ad, right, in some placements. And so we're going to delete this. And that's kind of all you have to do, right? And then you have to call to action. Uh, you can do learn more. So let's click on it. Let's see what's there. Uh, we have shop now. Obviously, it's not shop now. It's going to be learn more. Listen now, apply now, book now. I think I think learn more is probably the best one. Let's not forget our URL. And I'm just going to put yahoo.com just or google.com just for the hell of it. Let's put you yeah, let's put google.com just for the hell of it but it's gonna be or actually you know just to to make it closer to the example i'm gonna put medium.com just as an example right and so that that's how it's gonna work right obviously this is gonna be your article here it's still gonna li list medium.com and that's absolutely fine and that's all you have to do now if you want to get advanced about it you can basically duplicate this ad set and when you do that, it's going to duplicate the ads. And then you can basically edit the ad set. And you can basically scroll up and change. So if I, if, if I go to this ad set, I remember, we put Udemy there. And what you want to do is, if you want to make things interesting, you can maybe keep the same budget. And you can basically put, uh, you can basically go into Udemy, right? You can basically click edit and you can click on suggestions. And so one ad set could be Udemy, another one Coursera, Udacity, Skillshare, Khan Academy, all of these kind of learning platforms. That's kind of what people want. Or you can go on uh, on a different route and try some programming examples there as well. And then you can have multiple ad sets. Now, remember, if you have five ad sets at $5 a piece, it's going to be $25 per day. So you can lower it. Sometimes I used to run campaigns when I when I actually had $2 per day. Then I had like five ad sets and I was spending you know $10 per day together. Or I had 10 ad sets at you know one or two dollars and if i had two dollars that was twenty dollars per day and that way i could test different audiences different interests it worked really well this way and that's kind of all you have to do right this is a foolproof method nobody talked about it it's a legit but i want to tell you a couple of things make sure your review is legit you know do not submit a review that that's like 20 words or 200 words you want it to be something like pc mag right just google Basically, go go to Google and let Google show you the way. Treehouse review. Just look at these results, right? Look at these results. Let's open another review. Uh, so Treehouse review, a comprehensive analysis. Let's see how compre comprehensive it is. All you need to do, April 4th, 2020. Look, look how long it is, right? Usability, content quality. What can I learn on Treehouse? You, you know, if you can follow my outline or you can follow this outline, right? Just the purpose is make it make it comprehensive. Do not stop, uh, you know. Do not stop short and make it very simple. That is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I really, really hope you've gotten value here. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I'm also running a contest where if you just leave a comment, you like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and I'm gonna pick a random comment. I'm gonna send you a nice prize via PayPal. Uh, if you're chosen, it's gonna be a randomly chose. Uh, comment uh, from the videos that I, I do throughout the week and sometimes at the end of the week we're going to be basically picking a winner all right guys so all you have to do is leave a comment let me know what you think about the video just tell me what you think and that's all you have to do all right guys so once again thank you so much for your time try this method out let me know in the comments if you have any questions issues or if it's working or not and I really really hope you've gotten value here all right guys so once again thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next.